Ever wanted to be a productivity ninja? There's this book called How to Be a Productivity Ninja by Graham Alcott, and it shows you how to stop drowning in emails and messages, how to stop wasting time, and how to tackle your never-ending to-do list. Today, we'll be discussing the main points on how to manage your attention to increase productivity. This is one of the chapters of the book, but I don't want to spoil the rest of it. So if you want to know more about the other sections, you can read or listen to the book yourself. I'll provide all the important links down below, but don't forget to watch this episode until the end to find out about how to listen to this title for free. So without further ado, let's get started. The big concept of today will be attention management. Alcott quickly concludes that nowadays it's more important to manage your attention than your time. Your time is already very limited, but your attention is even more limited. Think about it. You have 24 hours per day, but only in a few hours you'll be able to pay attention and stay focused while you're doing your work. Furthermore, your attention will vary. In some hours of the day, it will be very easy to complete mundane tasks, and in other hours of the day you'll feel like you're able to delve into a deeper level of work that requires more planning and more in-depth studying. Managing your attention correctly will require you to jump between worker mode and boss mode. In boss mode, you'll be deciding what your work is, while in worker mode, you'll be doing the work itself. This also means that while you're dealing with new data input as a worker, you will have to be a boss and react to it by deciding and changing your priorities. There are three types of attention. Proactive attention, which happens when you're completely focused and able to make decisions and tackle complex tasks. This is basically what I feel like when I have a freshly brewed cup of coffee. Active attention happens when you're aware of what's happening but are kind of sloppy because you're distracted easily. Basically, you would produce good work if external stimulation wasn't ruining everything. You're useful at this stage, but you need to cut back on unwanted noise. In inactive attention mode, it will be very difficult to focus or use your brain power to tackle the same tasks you would with proactive attention. Now that you know the three types of attention, you need to know that it can be managed through four different methods. Your job or work as a student will have a lot of different tasks. Some of these will require more focus than others. If you're studying, for instance, printing your syllabus will be a simpler task than creating complex notes for a difficult topic. This means that it will be essential to schedule your tasks according to your level of attention, instead of leaving everything in your to-do list without any kind of priority. And here, priority is not about urgency or how important the task is, but rather about how optimized your brain will be to tackle that task. Since your proactive attention is in short supply, and that is the most powerful sort of attention you'll be able to muster during the day, you'll have to plan out for when to spend it. As such, proactive attention should cover things such as key decisions, project planning and reviews, critical emails, creative thinking, etc. Okay, so now that all of your careful scheduling is done, it's time to understand how to use boss mode for your own good, namely to avoid internal distractions and interruptions. You have to protect yourself from phone notifications, distracting music, useless conversations, or constantly getting up to drink some coffee. It's important to face your tasks and use a couple of tricks to help you avoid distractions. Some things you can do is adopt the inbox zero method, block distracting apps, wear headphones, and stop answering your phone whenever you schedule time for some serious, focused work. You improve your attention when you start transforming your inactive attention to active and your active attention to proactive. Sometimes the cause behind an unmotivated mind can have deep roots and those will be hard to address in a productivity video. However, there are short fixes that Graham Alcott suggests might take you out of a rut. You can change the view by spicing up your work or study space. Move your chair towards a different direction of the room, change the layout of your desk or even go to other room. Tweaks in perspective will force your brain to start working again because it will stop being used to its usual comfortable surroundings. Change your task. If you are engaging in a hard assignment but find it really hard to focus, 
Do rotational segments of different tasks. This will keep your attention on its toes. And of course, don't forget a cup of coffee. Pockets of attention are segments of your day that are unconventional for getting your work done. The trick here is to grab different opportunities to multitask or simply turn an unexpected idle time into a productive moment. Alcott suggests making any important calls during any periods you find yourself walking, as you'll eventually be focused only on the conversation at hand, as well as reviewing or reading any files or notes while you're waiting in line or in a waiting room. You can also use valuable commuting time to think creatively about new projects or brainstorm ideas for current ones. And if you want to know more about other concepts besides attention management in how to be a productivity ninja, you can use today's sponsor Audible to listen to it for free. Audible has thousands of audiobooks that you can listen and start learning to during these new challenges. Despite the social distancing, you can use Audible to learn more, reduce stress and stay entertained. You can download their titles and listen offline, anywhere and anytime, which means you can grasp the contents of entire books while you're commuting, cleaning or meal prepping. The app itself is free and can be installed in all devices so you can browse their huge catalog and purchase individual titles even without a subscription. Also, even if you use multiple devices, you won't lose the page where you were in your audiobook because it synchronizes across your computer, smartphone and iPad. Also, the great thing about subscribing to Audible is that they give you one free audiobook of your choice and two Audible Originals per month, included in your subscription. You can also keep your credits for up to a year so you can binge a series that you've been dying to dive into. If you're interested in listening to How to Be a Productivity Ninja or any other title on their list, you can go to audible.com slash Mariana or text Mariana to 500-500 to start listening for free. Also, if you're interested in watching an exclusive video that integrates the principles we discussed, as well as read this video script, you can check out my Patreon, which has only a $1 tier, and that will give you access to all the bonus and exclusive content that I'll be posting in the future. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys!